Okay, I got this old um, faucet on this sink. It's kind of hard to pull and it, it's really worn down. So I'm going to be re replacing it. I'm going to be putting new lights in as well. Frame that mirror in. So I'll have a new faucet, a frame around the mirror, and new lights. And I'll make videos on all this stuff. So the first thing you're going to have to take off, well I'm taking off, is this nut under the sink that holds the drain together. So I'm going to be taking this flapper off, which is another nut over here. And taking this off, because we're going to replace this whole piece of metal here. And we're going to keep this P-trap, which is going to loosen this up and get it out of the way. So you're going to re need a really large... Um, set of pliers like this to get that nut off. Let me see what's up on the top. Oh boy. Yeah, those are all rusty. Those are going to be fun to get off. Hopefully I'll be able to get them off without breaking anything. So what was holding mine to the sink was this. You can see how rusted this thing is. I just twisted this with a pair of pliers and it came off. I have to, didn't have to use the grinder after all, but it was like that. So this is actually fused to this metal here, and this is what was holding the faucet in on both sides, hot and cold. So here's my setup. I have a little bucket here. I'm going to take these fittings off and let the water come out, and then I'll get this pipe off here. Just twist them off counterclockwise. It's gonna be a lot of gook in there and junk, so be careful. Should really have a bigger bucket than this. Well, these are pretty, pretty good shape, not too bad. Using my giant pliers. Loose, of course, very really loose. Not really, but. And you're gonna have to take this little piece off in the back. Just loosen the nut off. Sure, I got the um, water turned off. I turned the water off, and now I'm trying to get these pipes out of there. It's one. Hopefully, that's the correct fitting for the new one. Here's the old drain. You gotta get this this thing off. I'm not sure how to get it off. I'm just turning it to see if there's a screw on it or something. Here's the old one. It's all copper. Probably worth something, who knows? Let me clean that all out. Stuff's been on here since 1992. This old pipe putty on here. I'll just scrape it off. With something. I'm gonna get a razor. And um, scrape this off with a razor. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure it's wet and I'm gonna scrape it with my scraper. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's not working either. And there's some places. Just don't wanna scrape the porcelain. 
Got to keep it wet. Get all that crub out. You don't know if the other plate's going to cover this or not. Almost. Still got a little bit over here. All right, I don't have Ajax, but I got this Comet stuff, so it's the same stuff. Hopefully it's gritty enough to pull this stuff off. <laughs> There's hardly any grit on this stuff, but whatever. Good enough. Ninety one percent rubbing alcohol, and it seems to take the rest of the um, clay or whatever it is off here. Okay, so I got the rubber gasket. It's got some sticky tape on the bottom. And let's see where you put the sticky tape. See the tape comes off. The problem is, do you put it down or do you put it up? There's no instructions on this. The instructions are pretty lame. I assume the sticky tape goes on to the metal bottom here. So I put the sticky part down on, on this thing. They didn't give you instructions, but what, whatever. And it's really not... Maybe it goes on the, this part. Because oh. it's barely enough gasket to cover the um, device. All right, get on the, all right, let's take it off. Maybe it goes on here, I don't know. Nah, it's gotta go on that metal. Stupid. All right, so it goes something like that. I'm gonna put your tubes in. Hot side is marked, which is nice for a change. Although I don't know which side's hot down here, I'm gonna have to check. And it goes on something like that. I'm gonna leave the plastic on temporarily because apparently this isn't gonna stay on there by itself. <laughs> All right, here's the bucket. I'm gonna see which one of these is hot. All right, here goes. It's gonna hand tighten them for now. Back them, back them out and then tighten them to counterclockwise. Back them out and then tighten them forward. All right, we'll just assume that I got the, the correct ones on there. I'm going to put this other, this guy in next. This is the drain. It's got this rubber gasket and it's got this rubber gasket here. All right, this is designed, just uses a rubber gasket for that drain so that it doesn't leak. And um, I used a different method. I used the actual gasket it came with and some plumber's putty, and I'll show you in a second. So I got this rubber gasket here. It looks like a little UFO, and that goes facing it up. And then this piece goes on. Something like that. But first, I would like to get this out of the way. So that goes and seals that, hopefully. See if this ain't gonna leak. I don't know. 
I'm pulling down as I turn it. I don't want a really good seal. So you see on the drain, there's this end and it's a rubber gasket as well. Pushes up and you put the, the entire drain into the hole. This gasket supposedly seals between the hole in the sink and the top of the drain. The problem with this is this gasket is very thin. In fact, I have it right here. It's very thin. So, the first time I used it with just the gasket, it leaked. And then I, I, I know that I've seen a video where some people use the gasket and they use plumber's putty. Which is normally what people use for this. They usually use plumber's putty. But, um, so I put the gasket up. I put plumber's putty around the bottom of the gasket. And then I, I smushed it into the drain so that the plumber's putty hits the drain first. Then this dumb gasket. Then the um, bottom of the drain. And that's how I stopped mine from leaking. I couldn't get mine to stop leaking. I did two of these. On the second one, I couldn't get it to stop leaking at all with, with using the rubber gasket. So all I did was I used plumber's putty around the bottom of the drain and pushed it down and it stopped the, the leaking. And there's another issue with this. It's step seven here, this nut. You got another rubber gasket, which is pretty hard. It's a hard material. It doesn't conform to the bottom of your sink. I don't know why they use the material. However, when I finally got these to stop leaking, I had to apply a lot of pressure with this screw. You see this P? This is the actual nut that holds the gasket to the bottom of the sink. And you have a rubber gasket and a nut. I had to apply so much pressure to this nut to get it to seal properly that it broke some of the fins on this nut. Now I didn't have a problem. I don't particularly care if it's broken, but they didn't make the materials right. This gasket was not cushy enough to make a seal on the bottom. In fact, it should never even drip there, but it did drip there. Um, this, this other one should have stopped it from dripping, period. But I was getting drips from here, and I was getting drips from the bottom because this was not sealing properly. So make sure you tighten that nut properly when you um, put your drain in. On a nut, there's little grooves in it. Depending on how thick your deck is, you flip it or you go that way. The rubber part goes up, and then you put that in there, and then you tighten the nut. And you use this to tighten the nut, this little gadget. Okay, I got it up there. It took a lot of finagling. That nut. And um, you use your screwdriver and this to tighten it up. And you need two people because one has to be aiming that faucet correctly. Now, one thing, you got to keep your old parts from your old drain. This little gasket thing has to be angled down with the little plastic thing on top so you can put your P-trap back in. Now I'm going to turn the water on and see if this thing actually works. It's funny, it's a lot easier to turn the water on than turn it off. This thing's getting wet. I hate these, these valves on these PEX pipe. Oh, by the way, you push this to let the water drain. That's not a lot of pressure. I think this thing here is stopping the pressure. Got a really large gap down there. Pot is on the left. See that nut up there? It wasn't tight enough and it had a lot of leaking. So make sure that's super tight up there. So no matter how tight I made that nut on the bottom of the um, drain, it still leaked. So I'm going to use plumber's putty over the um, gasket on the drain. The, the gasket's going to be on the closer to the top of the drain and the putty is going to be on the bottom of the drain without covering those holes and it stopped leaking. This is what I used plumber's putty and that's what it's going to look like before you tighten it up. 
Now I'm going to squeeze it down and hopefully you'll be able to seal it properly. This is what it looks like completed. You can see that you can stop the water just by pushing the bottom drain. So this has been the install of a Moen bathroom faucet that I got from Costco for $54. And I had to do two of them at the same time. I do think the gaskets were rather weak in this um, installation. And that's the only thing I would really change about this product if I could.